Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make a volume material with reflection. Now you see the model to which this material has been applied. Looks pretty nice I think. At the same time I understand that everyone uses SSS in such cases. But I think you will be interested to know what is the difference between them. Is there any difference at all? Let me say ahead of time that this approach can sometimes give much more interesting results than the usual SSS. For example, take a look at this image. In my opinion it looks pretty Hollywood. And it's not SSS but a very dense volume with reflection. However, this was done in the corona, but the principle of creating this material in cycles is almost the same. And now I will show it. For example I took this model of Chewbacca from Star Wars. This model is free and downloaded from Sketchfab. So, let's get started. Create a new material. Delete the principle BSDF. I think you know that volume in cycles is made of two nodes. Volume scatter and volume absorption. So find both. Combine them with the add node. And plug in the material output into the volume connector. After that our mesh has turned into a barely noticeable haze. So let's increase the density value in the scatter node to about 20. The gray color is too boring I think. We need to change it. We can change color in absorption node. So we go into the color palette and choose a color. I like orange. Not much has changed because the effect of absorption is too small. So let's increase the density parameter. Now the effect of color is noticeably stronger, but it's still far from orange. You can improve the situation a bit by going back to the palette and pulling the color brightness slider to the top. But again, it did not significantly improve the situation and the color is still pretty faded and dull. So what's the problem? The thing is that in almost every render engine in the settings of volume material there is a checkbox called multiscatter. It has Corona, Luxcore and many others. And if you activate it, the material becomes much brighter. There is no such checkbox in the volumetric scatterer node in cycles. But that doesn't mean there isn't one at all. To activate multi-scattering in cycles, we go to the render settings. Light pass. We find volume. And we notice that it is now at zero. Let's increase it to four. As you see volume become much brighter. That how we activated the multi-scattering. Now we have to add reflection. To do this we need a glossy node, transparent node, and a mixed node for combining them. Note that the transparent must be connected at the bottom. Connect mix node into the output surface. After that we get a metallic material that completely hides our volume. To fix it we need another node called Fresnel. But before that let's reduce the roughness in the glossy node. Good. Now we find the Fresnel. Plug it into the blending factor and increase the value in the node to about 70. As you understand in this case the higher the value of the Fresnel, the less metallic our object becomes and the better the volume becomes visible. We get something similar to SSS. Nice. We've done with reflection. But you can keep playing with the color. For example, if you change the color of the transparent node from white to something else, the volume immediately becomes much more saturated. As you can see, the transparent node has a significant influence in this case. We can also return to the volume scatter node and change the color from white to another. In this case different shades will appear. In the same node, you can play with anisotropy. You can also get quite interesting results with it. And do not forget about absorption whose main function is to color the volume. As you can see, there is a lot of flexibility for color. It's certainly not less than the SSS and maybe even more. But you may rightly have a comment. Maybe I don't want to use solid color? So is it possible to use texture in this setup? The answer is yes, you can. And we'll load the texture into the transparent. To do this I select the transparent node and press Ctrl T. After that I automatically get three nodes. If you have nothing happens, then you have not activated node wrangler add-on. Please activate. Let's load Tay texture in the image texture node. For the example I took this colorful texture. We get chocolate material. This is because we don't fit the UV mode in the texture coordinate node. With your permission, I will change it. Good. Now it looks nice. Of course, you can only use window mode for static frames, but you can use a different mode. So we have done it. 
but now I want to say a few words about the disadvantages. I think you all know that the SSS rendering is quite slow. But the situation with volume is even worse. Especially when you turn on multiscattering. And you need to turn it on most of the time. Although, with recent updates Blender when rendering accelerated by times or at least twofold is not such a problem. I'm sure there are more disadvantages, but now I do not remember. And now I think everyone will be interested to see a comparison of SSS and volume. For this I have prepared several shots. Let's start. The first shot is introduce the blood material. And in my opinion the SSS wins. I like the way the light spread across the model, creating these lighter areas while the volume is very dark and uniform. Although it's possible that this is a more physically correct result, or I just didn't set it up correctly. It's also worth saying that the comparison itself is not quite correct, because both, SSS and volume has a lot of different variables and it's just impossible to adjust each one. That's why for sure it is possible to make volume brighter. But I don't think that you can get these brighter areas with volume. And I also don't like how semi-transparent the weapon is. You could add density of course, but it would make the rest of the model even darker. So in this dual SSS wins. Second shot. Something like a wax. Here I was able to recreate about the same result. And frankly I don't know who wins this time. But it's worth remembering that all other things being equal, there's less fuss and it counts faster with SSS. Shot number 3. In both model anisotropy turned to maximum. Again, I like the SSS much better. Again it has a much more interesting heterogeneous result. Whereas the volume again is just dark. By the way, these light areas in SSS appear thanks to the random wolf algorithm, which appeared in cycles not so long ago. And this algorithm does its job very well. That's why SSS wins. Shot number 4. Yes. As you can see, nothing has changed in volume. I just couldn't get anything remotely similar. But SSS can create another version that looks like a lollipop. And the last shot. Again SSS is pleasantly surprising. To make such delicate airy material. Random again did it job well. To summarize, 95% of the time it is always preferable to use SSS rather than volume in cycles. And I see two possible reasons for that. The first one is the very cool work done on the standard SSS material. Such flexible SSS is still worth finding. In the Corona, which I consider a benchmark in terms of realism, the SSS is much worse. But the volume is very good there. And in Lux Core, for example, there is no separate SSS material and it is somehow done based on volume and translucency. The second possible reason is that there's something wrong with volume. But there's nothing wrong with it in my opinion. So I hope you liked the lesson. Yes, we got a negative result. But a negative result is also a result. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.